Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So once the flooring is done, the next part, like I mentioned, is about the skirting. So what exactly is the skirting? We already know that. I'll show you once again. So this flooring, we have done everything. You can see this kind of thing. So it is called a skirting. This is a wooden flooring. So wooden skirting is done. So here the tiles has been put. The tile skirting has been done. So you can see it here also. No? The tiles has been put. So this particular point, whatever you can see, it is called a skirting. The height will be usually 100 mm. Okay. So why it is done? Because whenever you mop the floor, uh, what will happen if you don't do the skirting, you'll be doing complete painting. And every time you do a, uh, you clean your floor, you mop it, water will splash onto the wall. So if it splash onto the wall, every time water will come in contact with that. Because of that, the paint is going to uh, get spoiled and there will be dampness in that area. Okay, that is why in order to avoid that, we put a skirting, which is usually 100 mm to take care of all this effect. Got it? So now coming to how it has been, how to calculate. So calculation always remember this, uh, what is that? Skirting will be in running meter. What When I say running meter, you just have to find the perimeter of each of the rooms. Okay. Now, how do you find it? Very simple. We'll start from this area only. Okay. Like whatever uh, Excel sheet you are prepared. No, uh, where is that? Yeah. Uh, skirting. Whatever Excel sheet you prepared for the, this part, which is that, what do you call this? Yeah. Uh, the, the flooring part and also the same thing you have to copy. Okay, copy the same thing. I've done, I copied the same thing. Only the, after copying, I'll do it. Wait, let me make a copy of this. Rename, sorry, not rename. See, whenever you want to copy, right click on the flooring and there's a pro, and there's a, this thing here, more copy. You have to say, create a copy. Which sheet you want? The flooring sheet I want. Okay, the, this flooring sheet only I want a copy. So you can see flooring two copy has been done. Okay, fine. So now this flooring, same thing I'll keep. Only this length part I require, this width and perimeter and area of flooring is not required. Why? Because I mentioned that this is only, uh, what is that? Running meter, so area is not required. So delete all this area part and all, okay? I've deleted it. So how do you delete? Right click here and say delete. There's the option called as delete. So that entire row only you delete. This is not row, the column part you delete. Okay, we have deleted everything. Okay, this is still left, you delete this part. Not again, what is this? Okay, delete. Okay, everything got deleted. Okay, now instead of length, you can write running men, running meter, number of member and length. Okay, length or you can write even running meter uh, and unit you should write in running meter, RMT. Running, RMT means running meter. Okay, and just scroll it down. So it is running meter everywhere. It is big, okay, running meter, empty, no? Yeah. Okay, we'll make it as running meter in this way. Okay. RMT running meter and you copy and here also you write it and running meter and here also you write it running meter. Okay, done. Now this is length portion, only this length is required. Okay, but we'll start with the utility. Whatever you copied, same thing we'll do. Now we'll start with the utility area. Now it, this is my utility area. This is my utility area. And in this, in this area only the flooring happened, isn't it? Yeah. Now your peri this thing, what is that? Skirting will be wherever the wall is there, no, there only skirting will come. That means this perimeter I want 5.37 plus this 1.07. Okay. Plus 4.46 this area plus 1.83. Got it. So this is a perimeter what I have. Okay. So that is why what I'll do now. I'll open the Excel sheet on the other side. Yeah. Now it's okay. Got it. Okay. So in the utility, what I have written, see in running meter. Okay. Flooring. Okay. See. Okay. Skirting portion. Come. Yeah. So skirting. Yeah. You do one thing. I'll tell you one more thing. This you length you keep as it is, or even you can make this as running meter. Okay. You can write this running meter. Or you can write skirting length, skirting, skirting. Okay. This is what you're supposed to write. So why? Because I already created one, this thing. See here, what I've written length, I've written as it is. And here I mentioned skirting, but any of the value remains the same. Even you can do in this way, number of member and skirting you write. 
So this itself is your uh, running meter. Okay. Uh, but I'll follow this one. You can even prepare something like this. Hmm? Fine. So now we'll try to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start now. So how did I get uh, 12.73? See, just understand. This is 5.37. So I written 5.37 plus this is 1.83. This is 1.83. So 1.83 plus this is how much 4.46. This is 4.46 plus this point, whatever we have, it is 1.07. This is 1.07. Add everything. You get the answer as 12.73. That itself is just skirting in running meter. Done. Utility is done. Now come to the water closet. So again, water closet. This length I require. This length I require. This length I require. This length I require and this length I require. Okay. The door part and all you will, it is an open area. You don't do skirting there. Okay. You remember, no, because I had shown you one image. See, wherever you do, you see any skirting happening here? No, right. So you won't do any skirting in that area. Again, I'll show you one more image. Yeah, you can see the skirting has ended only here. So here is a door portion. So you don't have to take skirting. See, skirting ended here. This is door portion. You don't have to take skirting. Okay, got it? Fine. So we'll continue again. So to continue. Okay, I just need to switch to the other tab. Yeah. So water closet again, same thing. See, 1.07. Yeah, this is 1.07 plus 1.52. This is 1.52. Plus this is how much? This is again uh, 0.95. Yeah, from here to here it is 0 0.95 and from here to here it is 0 0.8. Okay, here to here it is 0 0.8. Wait, I think I need to open. Just bear with me because every time I'm showing a different drawing because yeah, hmm? now it is okay. Fine, got it, no? A point 0.8, how, how did I get? You just have to take the dimension. If you're not understood, I'll take a dimension here. Okay, dimension. I'll take dimension. See, okay, I'm getting zero point seven six. Okay, so this is one point zero seven, one point five two, and uh, this is a uh, 0.95 correct this is 0 0.76 okay fine i'll input 0 0.76 okay no problem done so you got this as 4.3 yeah got this as 4.3 after that after that come to the general bath so in the general bath again you see this is 2.32 this is 1.83 and then from here to then again from where you'll be have where your skirting will happen and again this part that is 0 0.95 okay so again come to the general part what all is written 1.07 yeah so why there is some i think yes yeah, see this is not 0 0.95 okay so this should be again i need to take dimension so already i've done it but uh, maybe every time i'm doing that it is uh, not getting saved now it is proper no 1.07 okay that is why i need to switch every time okay see here 1.07 i got 1.07 this is 2.32 this is 2.32 this is 1.83 this is 1.83 and this length this complete length i'm taking okay from where from here to here Okay, so it is 4.06. If you want, I'll show it. It will come 4.06. Okay, can you see? It is 4.06. Got it? So this utility, water closet, general bath, everything I have covered. Now we'll go to the bedroom one. Okay, so we'll go to the bedroom one. Yeah. 
yeah come to the bedroom portion one so this is bedroom one again this is 3.96 so bedroom one come here see this is 3.96 then again this is 3.36 up to here 3.36 then this part it is 2.99 so return 2.99 and this point 3.35 3.35 got it now come to bedroom number two so this is bedroom number two again bedroom number two Yeah, 3.94, this is 3.94, this is 3.35, this is 4.06, see here, okay? And then this is 2.44, this is 2.44, got it? So only this much you have to find. Now the next is attached, this is attached portion. So here I've written attached bathroom, I've not written anything, I've given zero, I've written wall dado. Wall dado means in the bathroom portion, if you see the wall, flooring anyhow we are calculated. Wall, what we do? We do wall dado. That means complete height up to 2.1 meter. If you remember, usually in the bathroom, what we do, we put all around tiles. We don't do painting in the bathroom. We put a tiles. So that is called as wall dado. So that I'll cover in the wall dado part where I'll take care of this bathroom portion. That is why no skirting is done because that wall dado itself is your skirting. I mean, that skirting is covered in the wall dado. So that is why this is not required. So I'm not written here. Okay. Now coming to the living room. So again in the living room, so this is my living room. 4.06 yeah 4.06 so this is 4.06 5.18 5.18 and this is uh, how much yeah see only this much portion will come okay this cannot complete because wall is here only so only here skirting will happen so this is 2.38 so 2.38 and then small another portion is left out which is that yeah this portion see here another small wall is known 0 0.46 so 0 0.46 okay living is also done next come to the store portion okay come to the store portion in the store it is 1.71 this is 1.71 so 1.71 this is 1.75 this is 1.75 this is 0 0.8 this is 0 0.8 and this is 1.64 1.64 okay now come to the puja room so again puja so in the puja what will happen this is uh, 2.13, here skirting 2.13, then this small portion is 0 0.22, so 0 0.22, then again 2.06, from here to here it is 0 0.2.06, and this is 1.64, from here to here it is 1.64, done, which is done, your puja room is done, now come to the kitchen part, so again I will go to the kitchen now, I will go to the kitchen, so in the kitchen, what will happen, 3.96, yeah, this is 3.96, then this is uh, how much this is 2.90 so 2.90 then this is 0 0.8 this is 0 0.8 this is 2.17 this is 2.17 and this is 2 meter so 2 meter got it yeah your kitchen is done now come to the dining area so in the dining so dining 2.90 so this is 2.90 again this is 2.90 okay then again this is 1.7 done again yeah this is 2 meter this is 2 meter getting my point no yeah fine after that, last another few portion is left out. Now, uh, veranda portion. So again in the veranda, so this is my veranda. Okay. So this is 1.98, agree? Yes, this is also 1.98, agree? So two times 1.98, 1.98. Then this wall we have, it is 0.46. This is also 0.46. So 0.46 plus 0.46. Then another small wall I have, it is 0 0.32. This is also 0 0.32. Okay, see you have to do a measurement. Okay, already I have done and kept. You do all these things in AutoCAD. It's very simple. Just imagine where the uh, uh, skirting is going to come. Okay. Next, after that, common area near water closet. That means common area near water closet. Okay. Common area near water closet is which portion? You know, this portion is already taken care of. Only this portion I want. This portion is coming. So common area near water closet. I written 0 0.89. Yeah, this is 0 0.89. Which is that? I'll show you. 0 0.89. Okay. This portion, it is coming 0 0.8. No, so it should be 0. Point. Okay, it is 0 0.88. And then this small portion. Because there is no door, this is not door portion. So skirting will do. If door was there, then no skirting. So 0 0.88, the return 0 0.88. Okay. And then this is 0 0.11. This portion is 0 0.11. Okay. Done. 
common area near water closet is done okay fine after that common area near, next is passage one yeah this is that passage one so here also skirting will happen that means this complete length this wall length your skirting will happen and this wall skirting will happen so how much is this length it is 5.32 so come to the passage area so 5.32 so from here to here it is 5.32 i have written and this is 2.67 from here to here 2.67 done okay next common area near attached the common area near attached that means this portion this portion so this portion you see here i'll delete all these things yeah so this dimension i want again this dimension i want from here to here so where is that common area near attached no yeah it is 1.74 this is 1.74 here you, it will come and this is how much this portion this dimension so it has to be from here okay how much it is 0 0.98 so i written 0 0.98 got it very simple last another few steps are done so common area near attached is done next is common area near main door so common area near main door is this portion that means all these portions okay i'll delete all these things because measurement i had taken initially where this portion this measurement from here to here okay 0.91 common area near main door see 0.91 this is 0 0.91 this is also 0 0.91 then you have to measure this part this is 0 0.32 you can see it already see this portion is mentioned here 0 0.32 so 0 0.32 plus this is also 0 0.32 so again 0 0.32 and enter okay fine so it is 2.46 next last is your staircase portion below which is that staircase portion below that means this particular area yeah this particular area so here i'll explain you staircase below yeah okay so it is 2.7 plus 1.8 yeah see the staircase below this is staircase but just imagine staircase is going like this but beyond, below that we had done the flooring also so wherever the flooring is done their skirting will happen that means this is 2.70 this area this wall 2.70 i have written 2.70 then this is 1.8 this is 1.8 we can see here it is 1.8 so 1.8 and from here that is from here to this portion it is 4.19 it is 4.19 got it now you hit the enter button done everything you're done where you're done ground floor you're done all the skirting finally the total skirting i'll write here auto sum auto sum fine that is the total skirting i require 127.530 what is that running meter okay it is in running meter later if you want if you multiply this by height you will get it in area that we don't require we usually measure that in running meter okay that is how it is okay so if you want to increase the size of this and then you increase the this thing row height okay done no fine so 127.530 square meter sorry 530 running meter is my skirting now after that we have to find in first floor and also the terrace portion we are supposed to do that i'll take in the next part and we'll finish that so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you